Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us on to the Into the Dungeon Dun Dun channel. <laughs> we are going to play a game called The Gods Are Dead. But first, we have a message from a supporter of ours, if you can say that. Anyway, so Penny Dragon Games, the Kickstarter, is ending soon. This is the last weekend. You can get a head start on featuring a... Hmm. My bad. You can get a head start on purchasing two 5e compatible books, STLs, and they also have more to offer. Created by the people who bought you Mag of Holding, Isendor's Vault of Tragic Treasures is laden with magic items of the tragic variety. Most are tragic in origin alone, but others are tragic by nature and to be used at one's own risk. Back the Kickstarter and be the first to get Isendor's Vault of Tragic Treasures and a small mountain of delicious trimmings. You can find them at bit.ly B-I-T dot L-Y backslash tragic treasures. And remember, this is your last weekend, but it doesn't officially end until May 7th. So go out there and get your tragic treasure materials. So, let's jump in. Last time on The Gods Are Dead, we were all traveling through uh, a story about Char's past. And um, our friend Osire was going through some physical therapy and his own church to help him with an injury he had constantly been given throughout five games. <laughs> Every single Every game? Every time. <laughs> beginning. Ever since yeah. the beginning. Right, ever since the beginning. Uh, so during um, the day, uh, Char had realized that some acquaintances, friends, and even family members of hers had found themselves in coming into town and in much need of help. So everybody grabbed their stuff and decided that now was the time to go liberate the rest of her people. Um, Char did mention that this is about a month walk for you guys. Did she mention that when we started, or was that like... <laughs> it was in like, passing like, during a conversation. <laughs> yeah. kind of threw it in there. So like, we're halfway on the way there. She's like, oh right, this is gonna be about a month. So <laughs> We're almost there, right? It's... Yeah, we're, we're almost halfway there, you know. <laughs> so when Osire is done with uh, his healing needs, uh, rejoins the groups and you guys decide to take um, a route which Char also took. Um, she kind of has like a rudimentary map um, that she kind of added to um, to help with any obstacles on the way. So you guys end up taking this and it's basically a series of segmented trade routes. So you guys are in a very desertous, arid area. There is some vegetation, most of it's cacti, but there is some other stuff, not really. So the more that you guys have ventured, you're able to stop that little um, trading post. You're able to stop at small towns, some of the bigger cities. You would kind of have to veer off your path in order to get to, but for the most part, you're able to get everything you need uh, just through these small uh, posts along the trade routes and even coming across merchants, you're able to take care of your basic necessities. These trade routes are well worn, so there's not a lot of issues with monsters or bandits or anything like that. Um, like I said, they're smaller, so 
in a way they're better protected because between t there's not such a long distance between trade post and town even though what you're passing through might not be a highly populated area it might just be like a trading post where there's a few families and their business is just people traveling through merchants and stuff like that so from where you guys are at it takes you 31 days by foot and this is walking 12 hours a day i've done the math <laughs> yes, yes, she has. Now, theoretically, if none of us wanted to walk that long for that period of time, would would, would there have been any uh, access to like like wagons or sure horses, caravans or anything? If like you that? wanted so, to take a horse or donkey, Char's people did have one. If you wanted to use that one. You have the resources in which you could have acquired one while you're in town. If you started walking and then decided that, F this, I need a wagon. Yeah, I, I, I was... done that as well. I was going to ask that, you know, it seems the least they could do since we're going to free their people is to lend us their ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's fine. A horse doesn't walk that much faster than a humanoid True. does, so maybe it's an hour or two less a day uh, that you guys are able to travel and still make the same amount of distance. You don't become encumbered. Any, like I said, your basic necessities are taken care of on the way. You do notice, though, the more you're traveling towards this destination, Char has described it as a inhospitable um, volcanic area. Um, Would she have said it's like a desert area? Or like, is it dry or is it wet? Well, before she says anything, <laughs> <laughs> it's actually starting to look more like a savanna. So you're getting a mm. little bit more green, you're getting very thick trees that seem to have little vegetation in them but they're alive and they're growing perhaps they're just dormant this time of year you're getting a little bit more savanna like if you were picturing going from the sahara to like the african plains or something like that you're getting a little bit more green still very sandy you're Bars not in everywhere huh? what savanna Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the rail, guys. <laughs> Gotta save Char's family from the rail. <laughs> so, um, if you can imagine just the distance in which you guys have gone, say you're in Atlanta, Georgia. Just say that's where you started out. You're going to the southwest end of Texas at the Mexico, bo Mexico border. That's how far. You're not in the little peninsula of Texas. You're on like the New Mexico side of Texas. So that is the distance that you guys have traveled. When you get close to your destination, there is cover. There are rocks and mounds created by different insects and stuff like that in this area and you get here right before the sun really starts setting so it's actually really beautiful <laughs> like it's pink and purple and the side the clouds have like a golden sheen on them as the sun is setting you know like that scene in the in a very famous movie about a lion cub. <laughs> I don't know what I can mention. But yeah, beautiful. So, but what you do see before you, and you guys are about a football field or more away. So you guys are about 100 yards away from a structure and Char has instructed you to try to stay out of sight. But what you see before you is kind of like a put 
together wall with a few towers. It's not craftsman. Like, it's not great. It's definitely a lot of different materials that have been put together. So maybe hand, like, baked out in the sun, stones made with the soil around the area, some other materials that perhaps you guys are familiar with, maybe some old world materials. Um, and you do see at least a two figure patrol um, kind of moving um, on the outside of this wall. And behind this wall, and it's a bit hard to make out just because you're kind of looking at it um, at the horizon, you're kind of like at the same level, is you kind of see kind of a mound, like almost two mounds within this space. And this is a pretty large area. This is meant to be a town. So in your travels, this is probably one of the larger areas that's very clearly designated to be a, a town of some sort. Um, but the, so Lord of Edge, your perception passive is 15. Mm -hmm. Alright, everybody else give me a perception check. I mean, everybody give me a perception. Let's see if you can get higher than your passive. Mm. Nope. That's a 15. That is one point higher than my passive. How wonderful. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> that is a 6. Okay. I got a 3. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Ah, so, so this is how it's going to go. <laughs> Osire and Terry, you see the figures moving. They seem, one of them at least, seems kind of large, especially for Terry. <laughs> um, but you can't really make out their shape all too well with the way that the sun is setting. It's kind of backlighting them. And so you're not able to see a lot of detail. Um, but Char, you definitely know what these are and what they look like. Maybe not these people in particular, um, but Lord of Edge, this is pretty new to you. So in uh, Acrothalos, where you guys are, you have seen snake species, humanoid. You've seen Neonti. Um, they're not in an abundance within the city, but they're around. They're not anything to be feared in these cities. They're about as common as a minotaur is or like a drugar or something like that. They're, they're around, but they're not anything to gawk at. These figures, however, um, one in particular is tall and lanky. And while it does look reptilian, it is not what you would normally picture a Yuan-Ti as. Um, Char, you definitely know, I mean, you see these creatures moving, but you definitely know that they're um, her parentage, their ancestry within this area is kind of odd. Um, they have, your people suspect that they have bred with lizard folk. Um, they have also seem to have interbred a bit um, because just like your people, their numbers are also dwindling. Um, but they absolutely refuse to leave this area and you also have issues with communicating with them. So I'm not going to say this is a hills have eyes scenario of inbreeding, <laughs> um, but they aren't pretty to look at. <laughs> <laughs> They're not, you know, nice to look at. Um, so I have set the scene. What do you guys want to do? 
Uh, mm. Lay low. <laughs> Automatically lay low. Don't want to be seen. It's going to chill. <laughs> it's going to like lay down on my stomach and try to hide. <laughs> okay. Uh, my red hair, my red and black obviously won't give me away. <laughs> uh, but one of the eggs will follow soon. He's, he doesn't know the area. Char does. She's been kind of blazing the trail on her way here. He is sweating profusely, <laughs> though, because he is still wearing his trench coat, despite the fact we're at a volcano. Just refused to take it off. Like, no, this is my style. A heat stroke is a small price to pay for aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> and exactly. as you mentioned, volcano, you don't necessarily see smoke or lava or anything. Um, so if it is a live volcano, it's not active right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. if Char if Char's gonna lay low, I guess that's the that's the move. If anything, like if she knows if we don't want any trouble from these people, then mm-hmm. everybody give me a survival check. Survival? Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Okay, all right. Mm-hmm. <gasps> that's a natural twenty for a twenty-three. Oh God, that's it's pretty good. Thanks, What's black trench coat. You all laughed at me. <laughs> yep. I am uh, the knight. Out <laughs> <Not> a 13. <laughs> okay. I got a 9. Okay. I got an 8. I'm you guys have been treating me. We're back. I'm sorry, Terry. <laughs> we're back, Terry. <laughs> I, I just wanted you to know that before we start any sort of uh, infiltration. I, I want to cast Minor Illusion, and I, I think because I'm smaller than a five-foot cube, I could, like, make a bush and then just stand inside of it, right? <laughs> a five-foot cube? Right. Isn't that how, how big Minor Illusion is? Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to figure out D&D Beyond. Was well, it five-foot five foot cubed, or is it five-foot like... Cubed? I think it's like a, I think it's like a five-foot spot. Like, right. is it five foot by five foot? Yeah. Or is yeah. it like. I believe yeah. that is. That would, like, that would be. Times, times, times equals five yeah. cubes. No, God, that would be huge. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, that would be small because you would be, be like, dividing it. Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> It'd be five. Whatever. Okay. Anyway, math. <laughs> so, what is your minor illusion going to be? It can be whatever you want. I don't care. Oh, sorry, not my illusion. Silent image. I'm getting the cane trip <laughs> and the first level spell and mixed up with each other. Okay. Uh, and this one is bigger than silent image. I was, I don't know why I was looking at silent image. Uh, so this one's a 15 foot cube. So that's probably going to last uh, pretty big. And what that's I want to do probably five foot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I mean, it. it's still big. That's human. Human size. I Average think. I don't know. Size. Is that how D and D works? When I hear a 15 foot cube, I think it's. I think it's like three by. I don't know. Yeah. People in the chat squares. tell us. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, I'm, it's a three. I'm, it's I'm a three by sure. three square. Like like a grid. If each yeah. grid's five feet, like this is a huge area. This should be able to fit like nine people in there, right? If it's fifteen by fifteen by fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, anyway. Got the thumbs up, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I, I want to do like like an an immense amount of like uh, like like shrubbery. Okay. Uh, and stuff, uh, so that if there is um, any sort of like shrubbery around us, I want to make an illusory version of that on top of us, just dead on top of us. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. You can kind of give yourself some aerial cover. Mm-hmm. Atta boy, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so survival checks. So Lord of Edge, <laughs> once again. Um, and Char, not so much. Char, what would you have given away about what happens to your people here? Like, the importance of getting them out. The importance of getting them out. Uh, she has told them that they're being sacrificed. These people are just being sacrificed. Um, and it happens multiple times a year, and she just wants to get them out before there's no one left. And it happens on the two biggest full moons of the year. Yeah. Okay. So, Lord of Edge, what you know is that it has been a month (laughs) since the last (laughs) full moon. And you're no astrologist, but (laughs) if you had to bet money on what kind of moon is coming up tonight... (laughs) 
Uh, you might have a sense of urgency to accomplish this mission tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So since the yeah. biggest sacrifice, Char's people have marched 30 days to the city. And then upon their arrival, we have marched 30 days back. So we're just on like this moon sacrifice cycle. Well, they do it twice. So there's mm -hmm. two oh. super moons, I believe. There's like the harvest moon and then there's the... The pink moon or whatever that we just had. Could it be a blood moon? Huh? Well, that's an eclipse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I'm not an astrologist. Uh, Matt Gilles, we, we just You're not an astronomer. This. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a moonologist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one in particular, this time of year, is a nice, beautiful crimson color. <laughs> um, it is a sight to behold. Char, you said that they sacrifice your people during the full moon, correct? Two largest moons of the year, yes. I can't help but wonder if that might be an issue, and perhaps. Oh, oh, that is an issue. We should make haste. Oh, I still God. can't believe you waited this long to tell us that your people have been did. sacrificed. Look. <laughs> I don't like to talk to people. I don't know. I just, uh, to be frank, I don't know if I'm going to let you live this down. So <laughs> I don't think gonna... I'm ever going to live it down. Not even by my own people. Uh... <laughs> I'm thankful your people let us borrow their ass. As tired yeah, as it was. <laughs> they were very, very kind. Quite gone from the journey. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So definitely time is passing as you guys are hunkered down. I don't I don't want it to because I just cast a spell to to give us cover. Uh well, is, is there any way we can cast long spell last? Ten minutes. Okay. <laughs> um so I, I if if the goal is to be some sort of infiltration, they have they have patrols. I guess I would want to inquire to Trolls. Patrols. 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 Oh. Patrols. <laughs> I was like, I don't think I mentioned it. <laughs> uh, like, there are freaking oh. like mountain trolls around. Okay. <laughs> you said they'd been interbreeding. <laughs> oh well, yeah. Okay. Uh, do, do, do they have a do they have a stop, or are we gonna have to just kind of weasel our way in? Give me a history check. Oh yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, <laughs> I could pull this out of my ass, but I don't wanna. <laughs> oh, that's a five! Plain five, plus nothing. <laughs> you don't really remember how you got out. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of fuzzy. Um, like, there's <laughs> a lot of wall. <laughs> there's so much wall. This makes sense. This makes too much sense. Are you referring to the wall that you, you launched yourself out? You have to get through the wall somehow. You don't remember climbing over, but you don't remember exactly how you got out. I think I blacked out. When it happened, panic. You could panic. <laughs> yeah, I could panic. How down. tall are these I walls? <laughs> um, they're not exceptionally tall. They're about like seven to eight feet. <laughs> All right, I got it, Char. Where's the Where's the closest side of the wall to the uh, to the place that the uh, prisoners are being kept? So That's. <laughs> What skill are you good at? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a strength None. check. Only attacking. <laughs> Only attacking. Yeah. Uh, that, wow, natural 17. That is a oh, 21. Nice. For strength? Uh, for, for strength. I'm just kidding. No. We're <laughs> <laughs> <For> a survival. <laughs> um, you remember that the... Um, and especially with the sun setting right now, that the sun usually rises behind you. So the town is on the north side of this. So you guys are looking at the town, and it is setting west. So to... No, you're right. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? Does, does Char know in what, yes, yeah, what yeah, yeah. cardinal quadrant the the area that the prisoners are she kept She got in a 21. Yes. <laughs> yes, I know okay. exactly where it is. They are due north. Yeah. Like, if you are looking at it, and if this city was a circle, she would be yeah. the right side. 
that right side is kind of where their encampment is. Is that is that the opposite direction of us? If you were looking at it, it would be on your right side. <laughs> on your right side, Greg. So the people that are left are on the right side. <laughs> so right, uh, do you want to see? <laughs> Most of their huts and stuff are on the left, and they kind of almost encircle the Ganassi encampment, which is mostly central, but at the north side. Mm. Like, I'm from the north side, guys. Yeah. <laughs> north. Right. Terry, you still have that Northeast? grappling hook, correct? What? I do, yes. I, I no longer leave home without it, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Good. <laughs> the last time we fell into that hole, I thought it was going to be the end of us. It's all reliable. <laughs> uh, it, uh, I think we're on the same page. That's that's the, the plan, Lord of Edge. I, I think that these walls would, would do well with, uh, with a grappling hook, being that they're made out of such crude materials. It would be something to really latch onto. And uh, I, think, uh, I think perhaps... If uh, we were to make our way towards the right side of the encampment, we might be able to get uh, fairly close to them over the wall. Mm-hmm. So we're going to scale the walls of the Yanti and rescue Char's people. Right, yes. 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 We'll yeah. have to tell them they have to let my people go. Well, we're not going to go ask. I, uh, yes, that would be the... <laughs> They're going to go. They're going. Have you to tried go asking? <laughs> <laughs> what I is the secret this whole time? <laughs> hey He's guys, asking, they're like, yeah, sure. Guys, yeah, are y'all are y'all sick of sacrificing people to to the volcano god? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you just not do that. It's just you know not. what? We didn't want to say anything. We thought you got like you know we had a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> we thought we were all committed. <laughs> um. Ah. Uh, can your people fight, Char, if um, it comes to that? Or I well, suppose you don't know who's fight. left. I, I don't really know. I don't know if my father is in there, um, but I know because I am me. We can set things on fire, and that usually goes pretty well. <laughs> I mean, right, for, for you, but for everyone else with you... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that might be a little... <laughs> um, they could uh, probably fight. Uh, well, I mean, most of the people who stayed behind are people who could fight. So, as long as they're not dead. <laughs> Alright, so I take it we'll be doing most of the fighting. You are awfully <laughs> calm about this, but... Um, That's I suggest, hiding uh... my internal panic, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all cope differently, don't we? <laughs> Uh, I, uh, the secret is to stop caring. I start. <laughs> uh, has it? Has any yon? Uh, has any lizard folk-ish yon reptilian people uh, came close to us thus far? Or are we just sort of? You guys inside? are still about a football field away from them, and you've been sitting behind um, your illusion and some like termite mounds, so. Okay. What other sort of vegetation is in the area? Um, there's like some trees that are like really thick trunk, like some bao bao trees. Are um, there any like tumbleweeds or anything? <laughs> perhaps. It's a little bit more common where you guys are from. Um, here there's more like tall grasses. Um, some trees. Some floral vegetation. I mean, it's not like they mow the grass, so... <laughs> All right, well, but it, it is sandy here. <clears throat> it is sandy, you said. <laughs> okay. Is what it windy? Is... Uh, not today. It's pretty clear and beautiful. Darn it. Okay. All right. Really like, hot. Like, if you were going to sacrifice people today, this would be a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the idea, is, the idea is that silent image moves, right? So it uh, can move, right? So I was thinking of something that is like a natural part of the environment that moves. Yeah, grass. Uh, uh, I, yes. guess, I guess so. Uh, but I wouldn't want like a gigantic like moving moat of grass. 
So that's why I was thinking tumbleweeds, like just like like so many tumbleweeds, but that's probably also I've, suspicious. I mean, this random be... swarm of tumbleweeds is <laughs> 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 creeping over the wall. <laughs> I mean, there are other there are um, fauna like in this area. Yeah. Any so like, any any fauna that like people wouldn't hunt for food because I don't want to get spears thrown at me. Like just. I mean. Well, I don't know. Like, you don't know what condition these people are living under. So you could do like a swarm of locusts, but they'd be like, mmm. <laughs> Good stuff. Mmm. Perfect. Protein. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to stick with the grass. Just big things of grass and hope nobody sees us while we're moving. <laughs> and we'll just move in, we'll move in like spurts, right? Mm -hmm. This is a grassroots movement we're starting. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh my god. Um. But as you guys are kind of like discussing your your plans over <clears throat> a few minutes of trying to talk over this and process what you're about to do, you hear a doom, 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 oh, it's doom, doom, ah, doom. No. Uh, so something is happening at this point, and Char knows that they're probably it's a Kind of like the signal for everybody to gather. It seems we're too late already. Oh, uh, I think I think we need to keep up, pick up the pace. I just turn I turn the illusion from grass to tumbleweeds. It's usually <laughs> when the drums stop, Char, that uh, you know you're too late. It's not too late yet. Oh, okay. you're still going. Uh, yeah. At this point. Char's like moving along with Terry, like, yeah, totally great idea. Here's it. We'll look up to see if there's anybody on like walking by or coming up to walk by uh, right at the edge of the wall that we're getting close to. Um, so you just saw um as you guys were kind of planning, like these figures were getting closer to each other, um, and now they have crossed and now they're going the other direction so um they are moving further away from you but one is moving closer to the north side of the wall okay we have to go to the north side um how far away from the wall are we right now if we've been moving this entire time i uh, i believe you've been sitting still so you're still yeah. a football field still, away i far. do mm. what I want to be moving. Uh, okay, I was hoping move. people would go with me. Yeah. Oh, yeah we'll go with you. Are you yeah, dashing? Moving. Are you only using 30 foot of movement? If we hear it's drums roar, I feel like the drums are partially going to cover up the noise they're making. Sure. So I would yeah. probably want to. Yeah. Everybody give me stealth check with advantage. Ooh. I have disadvantage, so this is a straight <laughs> roll. <laughs> yeah. That is very good. Let's see if a second one is mm. better. It's mm, not. That's a six. <laughs> I rolled a five, and I have a plus five. I got an <laughs> eleven. I got a nineteen. Ooh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> plus okay. anything? What did Terry like, get? Uh, seventeen plus nine is a twenty. Okay. Man, that physical six. therapy is <laughs> really helping you out. Your legs are great right now. <laughs> yeah. Too Thank bad you. they only did physical therapy on your legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, Never, I don't they know what's going shoulder. on. Yeah, right. they, they really love leg day, but arms day just <laughs> sucks every time. I cry. I cry all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are moving so at a steady pace. Thankfully, the sand is kind of muffling some of your footsteps. Um, Char, you're starting to, like, get like grass like stuck in like your plating and stuff so you're like making a lot of rustling that doesn't really fit with the rustling um <laughs> of the grass uh and the lord of edge <laughs> I just what was yours it was 11 i'm getting a okay. lot of sweat in my eyes <laughs> <laughs> His belt, his zippers and belt are trying to clink a little. <laughs> I was gonna say, if it, if it was worse, I was gonna say you're like humming like a Mission Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> like you need to have background music for like this epic moment. <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful. 
Uh, but Terry and Osire rolled well enough that your group overall is able to do it. You're able to keep a good pacing behind the other Yuanti inbred. Um, so you're not getting too close. So when you get to a point in which you think you um, are able to get over the wall, and you can see that this wall, they've tried to keep it well intact, but there's a lot of wall. Um, so there are places where it's cracking, where they've just kind of like piled up trash and stuff to keep it a un one unit, <laughs> but it's not well done. As we get to the trash wall, uh, Lord of Edge will look at Terry and be like, Terry, I think perhaps after we cleared this place out that you might wish to live here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? Everything I take for salvage is of high quality. These people, I'm surprised with their degree of engineering that they were able to keep prisoners this long. <laughs> yeah, makes you um, wonder what kind of condition they're living in. Um, it's not great. not great. But you can see kind of not like a, a, like a weak spot in that northern kind of part of the wall. You could keep going, but this is probably a good spot. When you say weak spot, does any spot look too weak to throw a grappling hook over it? Um, yes. Like, it feels like if you gave it a good tug, it might come crumbling down. Maybe they didn't bother putting any mortar in between the bricks. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, but there are parts you think they could take your weight. You could probably even just give each other a foot up to get oh, over the wall. Not very high. No, I mean, I said, like, seven to eight feet. I mean, Osire's how tall? <laughs> yeah. I mean, pe yeah, if people just lift me up by my feet, I think I can just reach the top. Mm -hmm. I definitely can just lift you up. I am, what, six feet tall? Six foot I'm, something? I'm 5'11", yeah. so, I mean... We we're tall. Be, yeah, we're tall-ish. I see six foot two. So, yeah, uh, we're tall. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Char can give everybody a boost and you guys can get over it. And, and I'll just reach back down and yeah, pull yeah. her up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Use your combined cool. strength. Dice can definitely do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll give... To get over this wall, it's going to be pretty easy, so I just need Char to give me checks for everybody. Okay. And I want, is, is my minor illusion, or sorry, is my silent image gone by now? Has it taken yes. the ten minutes up? Okay. Can you imagine you... just tumbleweeds being thrown over the wall by other tumbleweeds? <laughs> <laughs> they get that western music playing and have a herd of tumbleweeds go behind us. <laughs> it just sounds suspicious. Alright, for Terry... You know, I got an 18. I got a 16 on the die. That's an 18 in total. Yep. Just Terry goes flying over the wall. Because <laughs> there's just no one on the side to catch him. You, you really yeah. got good about throwing Terry. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's right, always Terry, give me a, a landing. Do superhero pose. Is that, on. Is that acrobatics? If that is what you would like to try and use, your acrobatic skills. That sounds like an act. Sounds like a uh, 17 total. Yep. Superhero yeah. landing. <laughs> You stick it. Nice. <laughs> All right. Who's next? Oh, <laughs> I mean, I'll go. Who, who is Terry going to catch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll go. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. Yeah, let's do this one. And that's an eight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, strength, buddy. Oh, God. <laughs> Terry was easy, and you're like, oh, I got this. <laughs> I got a crumple, like, oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. All right. Uh, <laughs> so, do I even clear the wall? You could probably, she probably lifts you just high enough for you to, like, get Grab your it. arms. So, if you want to try and use your strength to pull you up the rest of the way. Okay. <laughs> wow. I got an 11, so I would assume... Yeah, 
It's above I'm like, average. Yeah. Well, Struggle. I mean, physical therapy happened on my legs, not my shoulder, for whatever <laughs> reason. So, so yeah. I'm just like, ah, oh, it still hurts. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Next time I hurt my arm this episode, just trying to get over the wall. Oh, God. That's how you pop it back in the <laughs> I can't give me a step check. <laughs> it hurts so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And the stealth's won. <laughs> I'm screaming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, Lord Andrew, you look out. With your uh, passive, yeah, I, I would suppose. Uh, with your passive, the Yuan T is probably a good distance from you now. <laughs> oh, sorry, screaming out. It kind of like starts looking around. <laughs> Not really sure where it came from, but definitely knows that there's something up. Um. But it hasn't located you guys yet. Start making bird noises, Lord of the Edge, please. <laughs> <laughs> but you're able to get over the wall after the whole time you're like screaming. Drew's <laughs> just gonna hold his arms out like, what was that? Bro, oh, my shoulder. Oh, it's always the shoulder. <laughs> Uh, the Lord of the Angels will up the turn says, I suppose there's no time for me to find a more dignified way to do this. <laughs> the auntie's getting more suspicious. No. Yeah, no, we're going. Oh, All right. Go. Uh, no. Natural one. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh oh three with the whole <laughs> 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 people are going to die. <laughs> <laughs> it should have laughed at me! <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Lower <Lord> head. <laughs> You're Edgenius. It's just too much for her to carry. <laughs> uh, the burden of your emotions is waking you. <laughs> yeah, it's weighing her down. <laughs> Oh god! I, I understand. My pain is almost too heavy for me to bear. <laughs> um, you can try like just climbing up the. Yeah, wall. I'll try just climbing it. <laughs> Please don't fail. <laughs> is that athletics? Uh, yeah. That is a nineteen. Okay. <laughs> Good, good pause there. <laughs> I, I, I sit there and I think for a minute, and I look at the slightly above my head wall, and I remember that I have two giant great swords strapped to my back at this very moment, and I just uh, underhand them and kind of hook them over the wall and gotcha. sort of like ski my way up. Got it. Chip some of the wall off, but it's fine. The wall had it coming. <laughs> oh, I'm okay. sorry. I'm sorry. I scratched their nice wall. <laughs> their nice <laughs> trash wall. <laughs> it's polished. It's polished trash. Char, do you want to try climbing over, or do you need assistance? I'm going to climb over. I have okay. a plus five to my my athletics. It can't get much worse than a natural yeah. one. So that's a natural 16 for me and that's plus 5 that's a 21 yeah you're able to climb up like especially where Lord of Edge like put those new holes in the wall definitely makes it a bit easier to get ah, up so you guys get... all are successfully within the city even though uh, you almost got found out <laughs> even though it shouldn't have been that hard <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like the magic number there had to be 3 and there were two big messed ups in there <laughs> Lord Edge will pet uh, Osiris on his shoulder. Are you ah, all right, you seem to be in a lot of pain. Uh, uh, I'm fine now. I think I might have popped it back in place, but uh, we will we will survive. Hopefully. So, you guys do see like a set of teepees almost. Um, so you kind of have these mud huts, um, and then you kind of have these like cross mm, wood kind of fence around like a series of teepees and 
Char, you know that that's kind of where they kept your people because your people are generally nomadic. You travel seasonally uh, to stay. You don't like the cold that much. Um, so <clears throat> you are able to pack up your homes and go. And you can see that type of home surrounded by these wood pointy stick fences that are kind of like hexed. <clears throat> all the way around um you don't see any people you do still hear the drums going boom 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 and char you know that's kind of like the assembly like they're it's almost like the dinner bell they're, they're trying to get people to gather so this part of town is a little bit deserted you're able to you don't have to do a stealth check or anything here most of the people have moved out of this area already. Um, but it has been roughly 20-ish, almost 30 minutes probably since you made your plan and gotten over the wall. Okay. And the sun um, is still setting. Yeah. And you can kind of see just the glimpse of that, that moon is starting to rise. And you're able to see a bit better. There are teepees and huts and stuff kind of in your view. You're able to see these mounds that you had seen before the wall. It's almost like a... It's a caldera. So it is a volcanic structure that has collapsed. Um, and it has charred black edges. They're very rough. There's one part in particular that seems to dip down lower um, than the rest of the area. Um, but it seems, it's not huge, um, but it is rather large. It's probably about maybe a hundred feet, if you had to guess from this distance. The opening is the actual earth around it's a bit bigger all right so a caldera is sort of like if a volcano was a muffin but then it like collapsed in on itself on the top yeah okay <laughs> your souffle did not rise yeah gotcha. <laughs> all right the volcanic souffle is mm -hmm. we're in <clears throat> um so you guys are able to move some kind of freely Charge, you know how long these things normally take. What's our sort of you time pressure check. we might be under? Uh, yeah, do you know I where we're going? Need... It's been a few months and it was very dramatic. Very, very rough. I, I know you could remember how you got out, but perhaps if you... Uh, that's a natural two with no modifiers on the history check. No. <laughs> she does remember that when the drums end <laughs> when the drums end shit gets real <laughs> oh sorry do they have th physical therapy for the mind so that perhaps they do improve the memory of <laughs> possibly possibly you'd get Char's memory back yeah. she wanted to remember uh, I guess we should hurry then mm -hmm. would be um, yeah. yeah it seems like a like a perception I know 15, but see if you get higher. Everybody else, give me perception. Okay. I. Ooh. Oh. I cannot roll higher than my passive perception. I, it's I impossible. I can't every either. Time, I roll a six every time you say it. <laughs> I got a six as well. Oh my god. Oh no. Do we have another six? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, 18 total. I got a 19. I got a 19. Oh my Please. god. Okay. Man, Terry and Osire, we're, we're, we're on the lookout. Mm -hmm. We're stealthy. So you guys definitely see um, Lord of Edge, Osire, and Terry. You see light. Um, Terry and Osire, you're, you're able to tell that these are like torches. These are fire lights and they are moving um, because it is getting dark. Um, so that might be the people and where they are or where they're going. So, Char, you don't remember how you got out, what's going on. <laughs> All you remember is when the beat stops, that's when things get real. 
So when the beat drops, that's when it gets real. That's when it gets real. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess our best plan of action would be to just go to this ritual and try to blend in, and then when things start to get too crazy, stop it. Start slashing and dashing. All right, uh, that that is a good question. So if if your plan is that we slash and dash, and it's too late to maneuver uh, a, a large scale escape. How many people are we talking about fighting right now? Char hasn't been here in a while. Um, you do see that there are a lot of huts and they are a lot of teepees. Um, this is a large area, but a lot of the area is taken up by this volcanic souffle. <laughs> so, <clears throat> and these huts are kind of like around it. It's, they're not huge. They pretty much are just kind of like a bedroom and maybe like a tiny kitchen. If you wanted to investigate further, you probably could. Mm. Well, as of right now, I guess we just have to follow torches. Yeah, see what's going on. Um, I'm sorry, my brain is not working in this current moment, guys. Hey, trauma's real. It's okay. Well, uh, it is real. It's very real. On, on the off chance that you that you do remember something about this situation, do you know how long this ritual takes place? I mean, <laughs> I just isn't that what your second roll was for? Yeah. Oh, that yeah. was for the length of the ritual. Yeah. Not, yeah. Oh, never mind. Uh, just to be clear, this is the correct location, right? You are. <laughs> yes. This, this is my. You not home. enjoy. Her survival check. Sword play, but I you mean, know, yeah, that, that's I, my house right there. I, I, I can only imagine hut. it. It yes. would it would reflect poorly if we were to slice and dice a bunch of Yanti that and it was the wrong one. It just seems well. I, that's awkward even for me, and I yeah, I'm not. Very I will good be with people. honest. They're all really cruel people to my people. Give so. me a another check. check. Give me another. History or intelligence? Either way, it's a plus zero. <laughs> oh god. This is- That's a new dice and it's a two! <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Do you remember them being very mean? They sacrifice too many people two times a year. <laughs> Alright, I guess uh, just hurry along and try to blend in the best we can. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what do the what do the bad guys look like, per se? Fucked up Yanti. <laughs> okay. Sure. Are they really wear clothes? <laughs> Very tribal, yeah. but yeah. like ugly. <laughs> they're always gonna be ugly because their souls are ugly. Anyways, let's continue. Let's follow the distortion. <laughs> Well, unless anybody else has any, uh, other ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Slash and dash is on the table, guys. Okay. I just feel like there should be another option sometimes, you know? <laughs> no, no, Terry, this, this seems right. All Slash right, and so, dash. I mean... Do we have to actually fight all... What if, what if from a range we just sort of take out the ones performing the ritual? You think that would, that would put a stop in their ceremony? I mean, if we caught, possibly cause a distraction get those who would be sacrificed away. I mean, we wouldn't have to really fight anyone. What if you make some sort of contraption, Terry? You're a you're a very smart Tinkle man. Man. Perhaps, yes, where the beat would never drop. They would just keep waiting for it. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> are, are there... That's, that's genius. Are there any drums around? You can... Investigate. Yeah, I want to do an investigation for a drum or any sort of uh, like thin leather that we can stretch over a barrel. Okay. That's genius. Nineteen plus. <laughs> nice. Um, that's only I only have plus two. Uh, twenty-one. Um, so you start looking in huts. You're pretty confident that. You saw all those torches. There, you haven't seen a soul since you guys have landed um, on this little path between these huts. Mm -hmm. um, so you're looking through, and you see almost. 
You see this one hut, and it has like some smaller um, objects in it, um, like a small like leather stitched ball, um, and you see like a small little drum um, and one mallet. Um, but since you were so good at finding things, mm -hmm. um, as you bend over to pick it up, there is a cot, and you see a small reptilian figure hiding underneath the, the cot. Child. Wait, he's hiding underneath? Mm -hmm. Is he looking at me? Um... He probably was looking at you, and when you looked at it, it like covered its eyes. Oh my god, how <laughs> small are we talking? Um, oh, wait. maybe <laughs> your height, maybe a little smaller. I mean, that could be very large, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm a half, like, not a no. I'm it, still like, oh, sorry. Is high. it large enough to get dairy food? Is the... <laughs> It's the size of our toddler. <laughs> oh, oh no, a baby baby. Um, that's pretty big still. Yeah, she's a big baby. <laughs> About three foot tall. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Do I have any anything I can? Uh, um, let's see. You said he has a drum. Well, like by the door. Like, when you go to peek in the hut, you see, like, a leather-stitched, like, ball and, like, a small little drum with a mallet. Yeah. A small little drum with a mallet. <sighs> but he's, like, on the back side of the hut. I mean, it's not a huge hut. It's maybe, like, 8 foot, 10 foot wide. I don't know if I want to take this kid's, uh, uh, drum. I guess, um, one thing I might be interested in doing, I'll, I'll, I'll ask if he wants to, um, I'll go to him and say, hey, under there. I need to bed. I, um... What language I, are you speaking? It's it's gonna have to be common, I think. Yeah. He kind of, like, tries to back away from you. He tries to get more under the bed. Okay. Um... I will take out my, um... bag of ball bearings. Mm -hmm. There's a thousand ball bearings. Okay. And I open it up in front of him, and I set a marble uh, forward in front of me, and then I take one, and then I flick it towards it to shoot it off the bag, and then I put a marble in front of him and see if he'll do the same thing. Um, Communication through marbles? <laughs> no, I just wanted I just wanted to, to, to let him Give play with this while I borrow his drum. Persuasion check. I think this is the marble. The seventeen. I'm just trying to play marbles with them. <laughs> so you flick the marble, and it's kind of like got a shiny um, coating on. Is it metal or is it glass? I think they're I think they're metal ball bearings. Metal, metal. okay. I'm like, I'm yeah. glass. Oh, <laughs> Could you imagine stepping on a piece of glass and breaking it? Like it's that made sounds out of awesome. Lego. Actually, I feel like the new ball bearings should be made out of glass. That would okay. That so would you cool. flick this little piece of metal, um, and it's shiny. And it's kind of um, rolling across the ground, and it definitely catches his attention. And then you place one near it, <clears throat> and it waits a second, and then like reaches his arm out and like grabs it really quick, <laughs> and kind of like flicks its tongue a little bit, and like is moving it between his hands. He's like investigating it. Oh, He's trying to figure it's a, out. It's what a it baby. Is. It's gonna eat it. You gave him a joking <laughs> answer. <laughs> oh, oh no! It's a terrible idea. <laughs> I've been thinking about that the whole time. I'm like, this man. God. <laughs> um, it's too late now. All right. I so while it's distracted by that, mm -hmm. I want to um turn around is there is there any way that i could uh um borrow this drum without him no so like oh, i'm turning back right is there a way to interpose my body in between his line of sight and the drum yeah but he'll know like where your general 
you are. Like, he'll be able to watch you walk towards it and then move away and it'd be gone. Well, what I was going to do is I was going to cast Mage Hand to where he couldn't see it, but I was still standing in front of it. And I was gonna oh, yeah, yeah. You can do that. Hand. Yeah. If you tell me your whole plan, then yeah, that would work. Okay. <laughs> so uh, as soon as his vision is interposed behind it, I look behind me and I take the drum with my Mage Hand and I push it silently, because that's an Archangel thing, uh, outside of the tent. And then I uh, look back to him and I shoot a couple more marbles. I don't want to waste any more than like. 30 seconds to a minute doing this and then afterwards I'm going to get up and then wave and then uh, while I'm on the outside of the tent I'm going to grab the drum that I put on the outside of the doorway. Did You, you gave him more ball bearings? I gave him all my ball bearings. Oh, okay. <laughs> my god, this kid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He'll probably enjoy playing with it. I'm not sure. So as you route. like hand him the <laughs> the bag yeah. um he kind of sticks his face out from under the bed and he kind of like flicks his tongue mm -hmm. uh, in its general direction and you can see it pull out its other arm and it's kind of like a withered um, little deformed oh. arm um, and he like puts the one marble in that hand and then takes his other hand and like grabs the bag. Mm -hmm. um, and like scoots back under the bed, and you can like hear him like rummaging through um, oh, like little, the metal like, clanking clank. together. Yeah. Okay. I still Can intend to give this drum clanks? back, but if if it doesn't work out and we have to run for our lives, I will have traded him that drum for this <laughs> bag of a thousand marbles. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> all right. Um. And then I'll uh, I'll make my way back to uh to to everyone's. Um, guys, I've been seen, but it might be okay. <laughs> Why? What do, you, what do mean? you mean? Oh, there was a small child, and I traded them somewhat unwillingly uh, my my bag of ball bearings for this for this drum. Did, uh, did the child just... take your ball bearings, Terry? Would you like for me to go get them back? What? No, I, I, he needs something to play with if for some reason we have to escape for our lives, and I can't give him back the drum. Um, but on another hand... I mean, he's a child. You gave a child... You gave a child bar ball bearings? Like, sh what? Right. All right. I've, had, I've had ball bearings since I was a child. What's the issue here? <laughs> oh, God. Do I have I to mean, explain that? Uh, maybe. I don't I don't know. I mean, were, you, were you able to talk to it? No, not at all. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I should have warned you. They don't know common. <laughs> uh, oh, that, what, that was... What, what did they speak? Your what team? languages do you know, Char? <laughs> Uh, I know, I believe all I know is common and primordial. Okay, they don't speak either of those languages. And, yeah. like, they speak a, it's a kind of harsh, it's kind of a harsh language that they speak. Yeah. You've heard them possibly use up to two languages, but the one that they primarily use is a pretty harsh, like, like throated, throated language, hissy language, and I mean, like that's their accent. Yeah, they've, they've all got a very strong accent. A lot, lot of phlegm, a lot of yeah. phlegm to it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, I know common Elvish and primordial, so I know some prettier languages. They know a very mm -hmm. harsh. So we should language. probably leave this location since that child saw me, and um. In addition well, to that, this drum that is very, me. very small. So if we have any any way to make this louder, that would be that would be fantastic. Do you have thaumaturgy? I, I look up to Osire, knowing <laughs> that actually, do, do I do a roll for that to know what what uh, uh, sort of people might know thaumaturgy? Uh, yeah, I just do Arcana check. Fifteen. Okay. Um, Osai? Yeah. Have you have you been practicing thaumaturgy? Uh, <laughs> not necessarily practicing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you haven't been noticing, uh, I've been too focused on my shoulder hurting all the time. All so, right, but. Mm -hmm. 
no. I, I th we could possibly hit it harder. That seems. I mean, I wouldn't want it to break. What if I need to give it back? If you I, I realize that there is every possibility we may be about to strike so, down this child's parents, right? <laughs> so I know that we're really dead set on this idea of using this drum, but if there's a whole child that's seen us. Why not use the child as bait for them not to sacrifice all these other people? I mean, I know this probably goes That's... against a lot of things, but... I mean, what's your alignment? <laughs> oh, <right>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I may not be too fond of the people, but I'm not going to let a child be harmed. I mean, they can... Oh, no, we're, we're definitely not going to harm the child. We'll protect the child at all costs, but how are they going to know we're bluffing? Uh, Char, give me another check. Couldn't we just as easily Is take a little hostage? <laughs> You're an intelligence <laughs> check in general. Mm -hmm. um, One day you you'll use pass your off. brain power. <laughs> <laughs> These are evil people. <laughs> They're evil. They're all terrible. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they would care. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she got from that. They're evil people. They won't care. <laughs> that might not be the best way to go about it. Uh... Matthew, your passive perception shows you that the light that you had seen is now further in the distance. And there's more light now gathered at that like dip in the caldera. I'm ready to hurry if we're going to save these people. Yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. a child is going to... Far be it from me to be the voice of morality, but there is no honor in that. Right, well, I'm, I'm, I'm still taking the drum. <laughs> right, no, you, right. you apparently that, purchased that, it from the child, so that seems... You did a trade. I, I thought they would start heading there. Still mm. Yeah. Yeah, we're able to kind of, like, zigzag through some of the huts. Um, you know, they're not, like... 12 foot tall ceilings they're roughly about six to seven they're about the same height as the wall um that's why you couldn't really see them like when you were at the wall um and you weren't at, at any sort of height advantage to see into the city so you're able to navigate through these huts and with it being dark you're able to see this light source pretty well now um and as you get closer it's kind of like you come around this um, one little home and you can like see the back of um, like uh, Yon T um, person do they look um, armed? no they're not armed okay um, so as you guys are looking around at this scene kind of trying to visually piece together what it is you're looking at here um you see a group of yonti and a group of ganasi um they have segregated themselves um but they aren't necessarily hostile to each other um the ganasi aren't like rope together anything there are guards though there are guards surrounding both groups of people and these yuan -ti that are the guards are much larger a little bit stronger looking um the people the yuan -ti are kind of like what terry saw with the kid um they might have fully formed tail they might not. They might have fully formed limbs. They might not. Um, they might have big like gourds or something on the side of the throat, or perhaps they have a hunchback or like a shoulder that's a lot higher than the other one. Just and like um, perhaps like parts of their face sag in odd ways. Just odd um, body construction. For a creature that you're relatively familiar with, it just they it there's something off about them. 
you know, talk about it. Is this? Is this I, I don't even know if this is a volcanic souffle anymore. This might just be like a radioactive meteor site. <laughs> <laughs> don't seem as healthy as they should be. Um, <clears throat> and so yeah. with the Ganassi, you can see um, a variety of earth and fire Ganassi, um, them putting off a very dim light of their own. Now, there are guards surrounding this, all of them. Yonti people and Ganassi combined, and you see probably about a dozen right here. Um, they do have weapons. Um, they have like long spears and they have like a scimitar on their back and all. And then you see um, this kind of older, almost more lizard folk like um, person. He seems to be standing at some makeshift um, altar. Um, and you see he's kind of sitting there waiting um, as the a small group of Yuan-Ti and Ganassi are being kind of roped and tied together as these drums are going. Um, they're kind of like forming a chain gang with like ropes and stuff so they're tying them all together just their like wrists and all and I need everybody to give me a perception check please can't wait to get another six <laughs> Ooh! finally I taught the Dyson to give me something better you had to say a six so I got a six uh, uh, that's plus four so that's a ten I nice. got a twenty four Wow! Finally. Fifteen. Nice. Okay, so those who did well, um, you notice, um, Lord of Edge. Some of the details that you notice um, kind of set a different scene than what Char has been able to recollect with her experiences here. You see, um, like one of the male Yuan-Ti being tied up with ropes and used to see presumably a female or um, a family member perhaps um, kind of like silently sobbing um, at the side of this. Um, same thing with the Ganassi. You see them um, like touching forearms and like giving hugs um, and embracing each other much in a very same way that the Yuan-Ti people are doing with those that are being kind of tied and chained um, together. And Osire, you kind of see a bit of this as well. Um, but perhaps uh, you don't notice too much about what, maybe that's what you're kind of focusing on is like that emotional part of what's going on is the people kind of saying goodbye um what lord edge sees a little bit more of is that this pillar altar that this smaller lizard almost more lizard folk like um entity is standing near the pillar isn't it's singular but behind it you notice more figures that aren't moving um they aren't yet reaching within the caldera you can't really see that so much um but perhaps with the torch light you're able to kind of see this it's not stone it looks humanoid in shape, but it's not moving. Like, it's deadly still. Uh, there's a, so there's a priest on this pillar as well? So he's kind of at the opening of this dip within the caldera. So if you were to make an assumption, this is probably where they might yeah. sacrifice the people. Um, and he is standing there kind of at the entrance, which they've made ceremonial in their own way. I don't, uh, I don't suppose there's any way we can do this subtly. Slash and dash, like I said. 
Uh, all right. A load of the edge will teleport to the priest oh. and go oh. to town on him. Nice. Oh my god. All right, everybody, give me initiative rolls. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, uh, this is happening. Okay, um, priest dead. Lord of Edge, you'll get a surprise. Everybody will get a surprise round. Mm. It's another natural one! <laughs> no, my name Everybody. is two! Except Char. Char doesn't get a surprise round. They know oh. she's there. <laughs> yeah. She's like <laughs> flaring up. Like, she already emits light. But she's like flaring up now and like getting angry. And you get two natural ones, so that's Snake Eyes. So you got an eight. Snake Eyes! I got a ten. All different die. All different dice. This is. Oh, this sucks. This. He's much more worried about his one lighter that he's gotten. Looking cool. Of course. Got a 24. That a boy, Terry. That's actually a low roll. I got the alert feat, so I have a plus 10 in my initiative. That was only 14. Okie dokie. Terry. Um, yep. It is. So. How's this going to happen? I'm going to switch the initiative a little bit just because the Lord of Edge... Okay. The Lord of Edge teleports. You see him disappear. Before he reappears, you have a chance to do something. <laughs> was was he looking at the priest before he teleported? Yeah, he was shooting daggers at him, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, while he's shooting daggers, I'm going to shoot a crossbow bolt at him. <laughs> okay. Um, he's a bit distance from you, and there is a a crowd of people between the two of you. Um, what, what's the distance? Um, I think the Lord of Edge can only go over 30 feet. Right? Misty Wait, Smith. how far can you test? 30 feet. 30 feet? Okay. You might not be able to get to the priest with your Misty Step. I, I can move. It's fine. I have a yeah. lot of movement. Okay. I'm a monk. I can move as far as I need to. Like, you can, like, <laughs> probably get to the, like, another side of the crowd and then get like a direct route to the well, priest because because yeah. currently you're not at uh you'd have to go through some people to get to them okay if yeah. that's true can i get to the side and then my direct line you of could, side you shoot could, with a cross if you want to use your movement yes um, you can do that and then you would have more of a direct line to him yes i'll use my um my uh, my cutting action mm -hmm. to use my bonus action to dash oh, okay. uh, to the side uh, to where there'd be a clear point of view, and then I'm going to, uh, you know, uh, take 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 my shot. I'm gonna try to do like a jump, shoot, roll thing going on. And that will be a 19. That'll hit. Okay. All right. Um, Now, I don't actually know. The cross was a d6, right? I guess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a 5 plus 5, so 10 damage. Okay. Okay, dokey. So then it is Lord of Edge turn. So you, what? I was just saying, can I use more movement to like get into a like a strategic like cluster next to a tent or something that looks like? Yeah. Okay, using my actual movement, not the dash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you're able to back up a little bit and and get more in the shadows. Yeah. Of this night. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, so just to make this more interesting, uh, the Lord of Edge when he teleports, he does take on an ethereal appearance for the next round. Ooh, okay. So he'll go up and he'll, uh, it's like, I've, there's been a change of plans. It's not the volcano god you're gonna need to appease tonight. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> and I too demand a sacrifice. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, first one is a 24. Nice. That hits. Second one is. And this uh, is all targeted at the priest? Yeah. Okay. Uh, second one is uh, 21. Nice. You know, but sure, let's go out. Let's do a flurry of blows on him. Nice. Let's just see. 
Uh, yeah. That's a... Uh, 20. I'm rolling good on these. Nice. Yeah. Uh, 25. So that's... <laughs> so he gets shot out of nowhere. He turns around and suddenly there's just someone in front of him. This is a way to There's an edgy ghost. There's <laughs> an edgy ghost that just lays into him. Uh, saying something in a foreign language that he doesn't understand. Right? <laughs> Listen. I don't know. He might be throwing, educated. Throwing for a mental loop. You, that's true. You never know. That I feel like the the whoever's conducting a ritual is probably slightly more educated than, than the rest of the... We didn't pass any schools. Uh, town folk? Huh. There's no schools here. Jeez. Is this a town... Commune, a village. What is this? It's like a very rough village. Very rough. <laughs> uh oh. Hold on. What's going on? What? What happened? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, still 45 right. points of damage. Holy oh, shit! Oh my god! Yeah! <laughs> 45 Flash, points of damage. Flash and dash, my man. Okay, Flash okay. <laughs> okay, let me paint the scene here. <laughs> <laughs> I do plus five for my modifier and I hit four so, times. <laughs> Harry, <laughs> when, I, when I say slash and dash, you, this is what I mean. <laughs> you. Quick like a bunny, you move into a position in which you can get a clear shot. You shoot the shot, you hit, it hits the priest before he even knows what the hell is going on. This ethereal form of an elf appears before him and kills him. <laughs> he is dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! There is no talking. <laughs> right. Are the drums still going? The drums are still going. <laughs> I mean, in action economy, this was like 12 seconds. Jeez. So no one has had a chance to react to the events. Um, we'll say all eyes are on the emotional... Um, connection between the Ganassi and the Yanti right now. Um, they hear the priest scream out and they're like, what? <laughs> the priest doesn't have a chance. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, he might have used a free action and go, uh, and then he was dead. <laughs> oh my god! You heard, uh, and then, don't, 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 don't. <laughs> How far? Yeah, can I get his head? I just want to get his head in the volcano. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You can do that, definitely. <laughs> oh my god. Can I, I'm looking I at Char. This. <laughs> Char you guys just... still have Char and Osiris surprise round. Uh, I mean, there's not. Is, is there any more opposition? There's the spooky the guards. The there guards. are the guards. You guys are in a surprise round, so they don't actually get a turn until you actually enter your turn round. Um, so you can, like, hold action or prepare something else or interact with the other beings around you, um, however you like. Holy crap, after what I just saw. <laughs> I do one thing. <laughs> <laughs> one thing, you kill the guy. Yeah. Kill the guy. I need to make the monsters harder, yeah. Uh, I'm like, hold on, hold on now. I know my, my... My HP's 31, alright? This guy <laughs> took 10 damage and then 45 damage. It took 55 damage to take the priest down. It he took was, my no, health. it didn't. It took less than that. He oh, just well, did 45 oh, damage. Oh, never mind, never mind. This wasn't a barely kill, this was an overkill. Yeah, this is right. an yeah. overkill. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, right. He didn't even have time to use a free action. This is an old dude, right? <laughs> yeah, so guys. Is there any way that I could stealthily get behind one of these guards and, like, slit their throat? At all. Yes. With a hand axe. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sharp edge. Yeah. 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 All right. So, uh. I wouldn't I guess... think it'd be a thin edge, but sharp. Yeah. I mean, as long as it's sharp, it can slice things. Uh, I mean, I don't have to, like, come and, like, slit his throat, like, from behind. I could just, like, whack it 
like a golf ball. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and, it, and hopefully, like, <laughs> my rolls are getting good, so it, it works like that. So mm -hmm. uh, whichever guard is closest to me, I want to kind of just, like... Yeah, it's probably one only about 10 foot, yeah. 15 foot away. Like, I, I want to have it, like, kind of comical, where I'm, like, kind of sneaking up, but also just, like, you're about da -da. to die. And then just, like, home run it. Point of order, I only have one attack with my great sword. I'm sorry, I'm swatching between campaigns. So that was probably, like, 30-something points of damage. He's still but, dead. Yeah. He's still, still dead. dead. Still dead. So, uh, Thank you for I your honesty, but he's dead. <laughs> I want to go about that, doing that. Uh, okay. Let's see what happens. Hopefully uh, it doesn't get stuck in his neck or I miss. <laughs> uh, does a 20... Yeah, of course, 20 hits. Um, wow. Holy crap. You know what? Hold on. Let's, let's do something crazy. Uh, can I do savage attacks? It says when you, when you score a critical hit, with a melee weapon attack, you can roll one of the weapon's damage dice for an additional time added to the extra damage you critically hit. Yeah. Cool. You, you, so you crit? Yeah. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if 20 was plus anything or... Yeah, go yeah. for it. Cool. Uh, let's try this some more. And... And six... Seven, five, seven. I hate math. I hate math so much. You can do it. I can do it. 14. You. Okay. Damage. To hit. Oh. Yeah. So I, uh, I crit. Yeah. Hit. Yes. Uh, so you double your dice. Yeah. Um, so 14 total? Yes. Okay. Dash. Um, you're not able to take his head off. Um, oh, damn. But you do get his shoulder pretty good. Of course his shoulder. <laughs> of course his shoulder. He Good too job. is full of pain. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. They all must know. They all must know the pain. <laughs> okay, then um, Char. Yeah. Uh, how, how do I... <laughs> I I was just going to go, uh, like, literally force my way through, get up to these people and start breaking their chains. Go for it. That's my main goal. Where's... She's part is I can tell you no. Like, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but they're they're tied up by just chains or rope? Or a mixture of rope. Both. Rope. Okay, so I can pretty much burn it. And just easily, without having to use strength to break it apart or anything. Just boom, burn mm -hmm. it. Because, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Tactfully, yes. Tactfully. Uh, the one time she's tactful. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, uh, she has to produce flame, mm -hmm. but she can just kind of hold and just burn. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much what she's going to do. She's going up to... You're going the... to move through a crowd of people. Yeah, she's going to barrel get up through. To these. <laughs> yeah. Which are being tied together by armored people. Just letting you know. Painting yeah, the situation she's here. That barreling you're charging through, up, probably. and then you're going to go... <laughs> Yeah, set it on fire. Uh, if there is someone in my way, she will just try to hit him out of the way. Okay, push we're him, knock him down. consider it like difficult terrain because you are going to okay. have to move through bodies. Of I do people. have forty feet of movement. That's good. That's pretty good. So, yeah, you could probably yeah. get close. Enough. Is there a range on produce flame? Uh, I can range it. Uh, I would have to launch it, but it's usually just self. You can mm -hmm. light your hand and then throw it. Okay. Uh, that's for if I was trying to hit someone. <laughs> well, you're trying to hit rope. I am trying to hit rope. So if I could just set the rope on fire. Of course, I might burn the yawn teeth being tied up to. Well, you can, like, <laughs> aim it at the ganasi or something. A fire ganasi. Yeah, exactly. I'll find a fire ganasi, throw it at them, and be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> burn it! <laughs> yeah. And, like, the ropes is, like, behind their back and stuff. So. Okay. Yeah, she'd like try to aim between them or something to try to get yeah. them. You can definitely give me a ranged attack. All right. Well, that's a plus six. So, and please. Okay. Well, right. it's a plus six. You hit the rope. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you <laughs> you can't fail. To... <laughs> can't fail that. That's awesome. <laughs> so uh, you definitely hit the rope. Um, it's definitely on fire. You still probably have about fifteen feet before you're like on them. 
Oh, I'm done. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's an action. Mm -hmm. Do use that. Your movement. I did use my movement. Um, this is a pathfinder. <laughs> so, yeah. I gotta think, this is a pathfinder. I don't have three actions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You have a, a free action, which is usually speaking, and then you have bonus. So. Uh, yeah, with her free action, she will just tell them, Weird out! I'm here to free you! Uh, and just get ready to probably tackle this guard. <laughs> He's probably going to attack her. <laughs> so she's like getting ready. Got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And they can't understand anything that we're saying, really. Or at the, all. The Yonti don't know common as far as... Yeah, they don't know I, we common. Know. These Yonti do not know common. Yeah. Well, I think... <laughs> violence is the universal language. <laughs> <laughs> or is kindness. So is kindness. They're kind of yeah, The Yonti, you know, no common. These Yonti yeah. haven't so far responded. Alright, but do they know kindness? Because we have not shown that at all, really. I mean, <laughs> we, we, we chose, we chose no. violence. Terry was nice to the boy. This is karmatically <laughs> neutral. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's neutral. Like they know. Like they know. Slash and dash. Like I said, boys, slash and dash. Mm -hmm. Says the cleric. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, have I actually seen Os Osiris cast a spell? Mm. I think he's healed himself. Yeah, okay. and those people. I healed the people with the uh, brains. Oh yeah, and you healed the people too. Yeah, yeah so that was a horrible, horrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <no. laughs> That's why I'm just like, I want to wait. <laughs> Last time I did that, bad things happened. Okay, so we're at the top of initiative. If Char is done, um, so Terry, you are hiding yourself from the torchlight. And uh, at this point, the moon isn't quite above you guys, but it is a large red moon um, that is fully appeared now as the sun has finally faded below the horizon. Right. So so I dashed out. I jumped to the side. I shot a crossbow ball to the high priest. It, it, the high priest gets demolished. Yeah. Right. By Eugene. You're, AKA, you for Lord a second Marcus. thought it was a crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> the edge. Uh, the <laughs> edge. It's destroyed by the edge. Yeah. And so uh, Terry's just like, oh, holy, holy shit. Uh, <laughs> talks, like, now, there's probably like blood and body parts that just got yeah. taken apart. It looked like someone celebrating the opening of a of like a butcher shop or something. Uh, so I, I, uh, I guess I'll, um, how far away am I from any of the guards? Um, I'd say you're maybe about 15, 20 feet from one of them after, like, stepping back. Oh, okay. Well, I, uh, I dropped my crossbow, um, and I will, um, run straight on into one, and, uh, uh, is there an ally next to any of them, or does the one next to me just solo? Solo. Okay. Um, in that case, I am going to, uh attack with a dagger, but I'm also going to be casting Booming Blade. Okay. Um, and total for that is unnatural 20, dirty 20. Hits. And let's see. Uh, that's a 6. Um, a 6 plus 5 is 11 damage, and they're surrounded in uh, this uh, weird sort of vibrating energy. Nice. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to uh, disengage, and I'm going to use 15 feet of movement into whatever direction I'm seers in. Is there a save for your booming blade, or does it just nope. happen? Nope. If it hits, it happens. Okay. okay. And if he moves uh, until the start of my next turn, if he moves, he takes 1d8 thunder damage. Okay. Okie dokie, it is then the Yuan-Ti's turn. So, Osire, you had one that um, you hit. It is going to turn around and try to hit you back. Rude. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> shoulder for a shoulder. I hope not. 
No. <laughs> no, I don't like that face. Well, I crit. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so does this 23 hit you? Yes, of course. Okay. okay. Um. So let's see. It goes my I mean, physical therapy. I mean, no. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Well, I rolled a one, so okay. that's three damage okay. <laughs> for his first attack. Oh. Oh no. We don't even have multi attacks yet. Yeah. Okay. So does a nine hit? No. Okay. Um. So he's like off balance because of like his shoulder, like his arm being like half attached at this point. <laughs> yeah. Good. That was his good arm. <laughs> <laughs> the <fool>. my pain. <laughs> okay. Um, then there's the one that Terry hit. How far back did you move, Terry? Uh, if I had to move 15 foot towards him, I only had 10 feet farther away to move. Are you using like a action economy to hide? Uh, no, okay. just to go towards Osai. Okay. Is it you're rolling too? so well. Oh what? my god! Back to back to the... Ooh. See? See? Ah, alright. <laughs> Hit me. Okay. Oh god. It's gonna hurt. Not, not Terry. That's... Uh... I go, oh, sorry, I'm coming! <laughs> Apparently I don't want to add either. Um, so it's seven plus one, so eight damage. All right. First attack. Yep. Okay. Low, 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 Does low. a 14 hit? No. Okay. Okay, and then we have the two that are tying people up that Char is near. Uh, one of them is going to try and um, continue his task. The other one's going to go for Char. Does a 8 hit? No. No, okay. it does not. <laughs> Okay, I bet a one doesn't hit either. So, um, he's not able to get to you. Like, he's able to get to you, but there's just, like, too many people, and he's trying not to hit anybody else, and he ended up whipsing twice. So, then, um, we have a few of the other guards who don't engage in fighting. They do leave their post and start making their way towards where the, um priest was and where Lord of the Edge's ethereal visage is. Um, so you have like two of them heading that way. Uh, then we got the Lord of Edge. Oh, uh, so there's two coming get me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're too slow. I'll go to one of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> How yeah. nice of you. <laughs> How kind of you. Attack. Uh, so 23 hit? Yes. Alright. And I will also uh, shoulder check him with my shoulder blade <laughs> for Got my him. martial arts. And that is a 18? To hit? Yeah. Yes. Alright. So. This is not as good. Twenty-three points of damage. Okay. You do a lot of damage to him in one hit. Do you have any more hits? Uh I got a little bit more key, sure. Let's just go ahead and thin thin the heart out. I can do one more for a key point. Thin it out. Slash and dash. Out That's well, the just, mission. I would listen. My uh terrible. <laughs> I was told to slash and dash. Yeah, you were. You're just doing your mission. Mm. Uh, 14? 14 to hit? Mm-hmm. No. Nope. That's what I got. Okay, okay. Alright, then it's Osire. 
the spiritual guru tells you to slash and dash, you slash and dash. <laughs> <laughs> he also told us to use the child, so I'm a little... <laughs> <laughs> little iffy on him. <laughs> a, little, a little conflicted, trust me, yeah. always. I get um... stabbed in the back already. I go, oh, I'm, I'm bleeding. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so there's there's two guards, this is the same guard that was attacking me. So you Terry. have your guard that was attacking you, and then the guard that Terry attacked is separate, and they reciprocated attacks. Damn it. Okay. Finish, um, finish him! Can I fin- well, finish which one? <laughs> he, he barely has an arm, and your guy is your guy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he, he's not messing around. Uh. All right, uh, I don't want to leave this guy. I mean, even though no. he's there. Like, no, 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 you should. I, I, yeah, uh, yeah. Meta, I was, I was, I want you to kill that guy. Uh, yeah, but you can yeah. Kind of interpret it however you want it. Yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna try to finish this guy off, and uh, I'm gonna go again with the hand axe and try to slice his head open. Even if I hit his shoulder and it falls off, I want to at least knock his torso or something. Okay. Um. So, uh, does a yeah, yeah, with that map, there's a, yeah, 22 hits, I'm just mm-hmm. going to assume. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and let's do some damage. Uh, seven. Seven damage? Mm, nothing comes off yet. Oh, my God. Okay. 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 Alrighty, anything bonus action-wise? Can I, like... <laughs> I want to just kind of throw my mace at the other guy uh, that Terry's working on, but I don't know if that's possible. Yeah, why not? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, as I'm barely doing damage to this one guy, I'm going to see if I can chuck my mace at the other guy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, aiming for his head and or shoulder, specifically his right shoulder, because bump that shoulder. Uh, and does it even make it to him with an 11? No. Of course not. Well, I'm down a mace, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Somebody can use that mace now. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Char, you're about 15-ish feet from where you set the rope on fire, and you are able to see that one of the other Ganassi is able to kind of, like, start breaking the rope as it's kind of, like, cindering away. Mm-hmm. Um... And one of the other guards is kind of like trying to to keep him in place. He's trying to keep him under control and not separating from the group. Uh, also, she already had like her pit off out, which is her steel hammer, and then mm-hmm. she'll pull out her quarter staff, kind of hit them together. Before going to town on this guy, okay. with two have been fighting. Oh wait, uh, no, that guy didn't move. Uh, <laughs> <he's so> <laughs> oh, that guy didn't move to attack me, right? Yes. All right. Oh, okay. Good. He takes seven damage. <laughs> Got it. Uh, yeah. Okay. 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 This is with the hammer. Dropping him from a great height. That is, that is, a twelve total. To hit. To hit. No. 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 Well, she's gonna come whack, try to hit him across the face with her quarter staff. Okay. Please. Oh, uh, okay, okay. That one's that one's a bit better. That one's uh, that is a seventeen to hit. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's a d six. That's. God, if I hit the first one, I would add an extra D4. That is a full six on the D6, plus two. That is that is eight damage. That is max damage with that quarter staff. Nice. Just right across the face. Uh, and she'll kind of yell to the Genasi being tied up and kind of sitting on the edge and say, Fight back! <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, and that's her turn. Got it. It's her criticizing her own people. <laughs> Kinda. You got a surprise round. They were shocked. 
I get it. Still I get it. What's going on? Here. <laughs> if it's worse, the risk with she's the... got fire going through her veins more than mm. usual. <laughs> right. All right. So then we have top around Terry. Oh, okay. Uh, well, uh, I have been stabbed for a substantial amount of my health pool. Um, really? I mean, eleven out of what was that? Like eleven out of thirty-one or something? Was that? That's. How much damage you do? Third, yeah. Uh, I, guess, it, I guess it's substantial. It's it's it's, it's a bit, it hurts. Um, like, what? And then but uh, there's somebody right up to me. But uh, I don't I don't like fighting people by myself. I like hiding behind my friends and stabbing them out of the corner. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna use my bonus action to disengage. I want to I want to go to Osire. Um, how far away is Osire? Um, he's about. 15 foot 10 feet like you didn't get too far from him all right i want to go to osire and i want to attack the other side of the guy osire is attacking because i feel like if we focus fire this one guy osire will help me with the person who's stabbing me yeah yeah of course um yeah, hey, pick up my mace on the way here please <laughs> i didn't do that but it's a uh, 17 plus that hits lots of number um and then uh for my damages that is a D, that's not a D4. Um, four out of a D4, and then I roll two D6s for sneak attack, which is a five and a six. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, 10, 15 damage with my first strike, and then I uh, attack with my other offhand dagger. Okay. For a 15 plus uh, seven, okay. And then uh, that's another another three plus uh, five. For it's dead. Nice. You <laughs> killed it. You killed it. So I hold. The, I hold. I hold uh, the. I don't know where did I get stabbed at. Um, he probably like tried to like go for like a tender spot. Like within your leather armor. Yeah, in my shoulder. Is that where yeah. you just gestured towards? <laughs> All right. You're shorter than him. He did it like right there. <laughs> I removed those. I'm like, oh, my shoulder. <laughs> if only you knew the sort of pain. <laughs> Stay behind. What do you mean? <laughs> Every single day of my life. <laughs> Um, and then I, I, I try to I try to weasel around on, on the other side of a uh, Osire to uh, avoid getting hit. Got it. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, it is the lizard folk. Or sorry, you want to turn. Um, so we have the one on Osire, and now there's a new target, but it's gonna go for Osire. Damn it. Do that one first. <laughs> sorry, Cause I'm, sorry. It's because I'm taller. <laughs> yeah. Um, it is a nine hit. No. Okay. Uh, 15? No. <laughs> nice. Wow. <laughs> okay. So now Lord Edge is close to two of them. I knew you would defend me, Osire! The 17 hit? Every cost. <laughs> okay. With its plus get three, you cleaned up. a natural 20 mm. it hits? Uh, barely. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I get plus two because I'm a Kinsai monk. Oh, nice. Well, I thought... Is that a rules thing? So 17 thought... doesn't hit... Okay, yeah, so I get a, uh, one hit. Yeah, I get a parry kind of thing, just naturally. Oh, okay. Plus two when I attack with my Kinsai weapon. So five yes. damage from the one hit that got you. Alright. Okay. Um, you can kind of tell that people are starting to understand what's going on here um so with the few the one that's now down the priest is down two have engaged with lord of edge one is engaged with with um char <laughs> i don't know why i couldn't remember that um, one struggling. is engaged in struggling with Char, that's right, um, Char. and then there's the other one that is kind of trying to keep the sacrifices under control, and then there's probably like four or five more kind of peppered around, um, you can kind of see they're not 
sure what's going on. They're trying to keep people from leaving the group. Um, some of the Yonti and the Ganassi, the Yonti seem a lot more panicked um, about what's going on. The Ganassi definitely seem a lot more controlled about the situation. And so you can see that some of them are, um, looks like they're going to start engaging with the rest that are here. They do not have weapons. Um, they do not have armor. The Iwanti guards do. Uh, but they, they do look like they're bolstering themselves. They're, they're fire genasi, right? They're fire and earth, yeah. Okay. They have... Do some do all do all Genasi have racial spells at their disposal? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes, the only way I have spells is from being a Genasi. So yours is produce flame because you're a fire Genasi. What well, do you produce Genasi flame do? and uh, we actually get two spells. We get produce flame and burning hands. Those are our two yeah. spells. Jeez. Okay. Genasi, yeah. you guys produce and you're rock. you're around a bunch of like sticks mold and rock. tar. Mm. People aren't really like eager to stuff. burn down their homes. <laughs> Oh. Um, so they seem like they're like bolstering themselves um, at this point um, you um, do hear that the drums have stopped but it's not necessarily because the events are happening it's because kind of, like chaos is mm -hmm. starting to happen panic is starting to happen um, so that was uh, Yonti, so then we're back to Edge. Uh, I'll go ahead and finish up the one I was working on. Okay. Uh, that's a 20 hit? Yes. Uh, will 12 points of damage do again? Um, the one that you have left? Close. I punch him. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, 15 hit? Yes. Meets the beats. I cast punch. Okay. The most well, powerful 11 spell. extra damage. Do yes, you him. kill him. <laughs> okay. You kill him more than he needed to be killed. So he is down. I can erase him. Slaughtering, folks. There's a second one still on you, but that one is down now. Okay, so I'll try to down that one. Uh, it's not really a bonus action. Can I maybe hand the the weapon that that Yanti was having off to one of the Genasi as a bonus action and like kind of just toss it over near yeah. him? Yeah. Because yeah, I, I could give him my great sword, but I I don't want to. He does Lord of Edge doesn't want to. They're not worthy. But yeah, like you this can other, kind of like... toss it off or toss it into him, and we'll see if they can catch it. Yeah, they can't catch it. So uh, it like falls. It doesn't like cut anybody. This is why like... he didn't use his own great sword. <laughs> yeah. But it landed near them, and they've noticed it. Uh, then we have Osire. Uh, so how how hurt is Terry? Like. Before I think about curing his wounds, because I, I definitely want to make oh. sure he can, he can definitely maintain this this way in battle. Oh, Terry is Terry is uh, is, is charmed at. I, I I see you look down at me for a second before doing your your plan of action. Uh, but I'm really just playing it up. I don't get hurt often, <laughs> uh, so when I do get hurt, it feels like the worst thing on the planet. On a scale of on a scale of one to uh, Osiris' shoulder, how hurt are you? <laughs> if, if this was a life and death situation, I feel it would be like I got stabbed in the leg or something, right? Like, it's significant. Oh, I definitely wouldn't want to live like this, but at the same time, and while, while the adrenaline's pumping, I'm not I'm not dead yet. Good. Okay. Yeah. Terry, are you... you're fine? Oh my gosh! This is <laughs> <good>. <laughs> I've never felt such pain before. My arm is falling off at the seams. I know how you feel. Trust me. I know how you feel. I've been here before. You can pull through. You will pull through. Uh, can I just, like, put Terry on my back for right now and then go towards another guard? Yeah. <laughs> Terry's coming with me. So I, like, pick Terry up. Like, 
Not by his hurt shoulder, because I know how that works, but by my hurt shoulder. I'm just like, ah! No. <laughs> and I throw you on my back, and uh, I go towards the uh, the other guard uh, with my hand axe. And uh, let's see what happens. Oh okay, go for it. Does a 16 hit? Yes. Okay. Uh, with 8 damage. Hmm. Okie dokie. Okay, anything I wanna I wanna make sure that Terry's still safe. So like even though I went towards this guard, I wanna like drop Terry off in a very secluded location where he can't like be hurt. Like maybe even cover him up with whatever's close, like a leaf. And <laughs> just like make sure he's good. <laughs> so if he needs to like heal himself or pop up and be like, Ah all you right. didn't think this was happening. The the safest <laughs> I feel is next to you, alright, no sorry. I don't, okay. I don't I don't I don't need any leaves, alright? <laughs> Alrighty, okay. so then it's Char's turn. So you have the one that's in front of you that you're tussling with, and then you have like the one that's only a few more feet from you that's uh, kind of trying to control the sacrifices and not mm -hmm. doing so well. <laughs> it's it's like twelve against one. <laughs> yeah, it never seems to do well. Um, she's gonna flare up even more and rage. For her bonus action. Mm -hmm. It'll take me one less attack, but that's fine. Um I'm taking one less attack. Because I've got two up in fighting. I have action, bonus action. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh I'm yeah. play spellcasters. What do you mean you get more than one attack? <laughs> yeah, I mean, right. <laughs> I usually play spellcasters, so this is weird. Uh yeah. And she's gonna hit with her. Steel hammer. That was cocked. It got caught in a corner. Fine. Uh, it was a 13 plus 5. That's that an 18. Hits. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. So you got plus 2 damage to this. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, so that is a d8 plus a d4. Mm -hmm. Plus two. Plus four. Plus four. Alright, that's a... Seven and a four. Uh, seven on the D8 and a four on the D4. So that is... Eleven. Eleven plus four. That's fifteen. That nice. is fifteen damage with one hit. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, so she just... just it set, essentially sets herself on fire even more... Mm. And just clocks this dude. <laughs> Cling! <Yeah. laughs> Literally. He's nice. got little flying snakes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> kind of stunned. Alrighty, then we're back at the top, Terry. Alright, um, I guess, uh, did, did, did you set me down or am I riding on your shoulders at the moment? I set you down just, okay. just so I can get a better, better swing of things. Well, I, I, I refuse to leave your side, uh, so I'm going to, um, uh, I guess he sets me down behind him roughly as he sprints up to this guy mm -hmm. to, uh, to, 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 to end him. And uh, while he does that, I look at him and I'm like, what? But, ah! And uh, I, uh, I sprint and I just, I run straight through his legs and the legs of the guy that he's fighting. And then I jump up and stab the other guy in the back. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. So you're hitting the same one? Yeah. Okay. Um, eight plus seven. Is... Fifteen. Fifteen, yeah. Yeah, needs to be. Cool, okay, nice. And then, uh, roll my d4. And that is a... Um, three plus a... What do I roll now? Yeah. D6 is... Uh, six, 11 plus my modifier would make that 16. 16 damage for the first dagger strike. And then I pull out my uh, other dagger. Awesome. Right, not pull out my other dagger. It's already pulled out. Uh, but I stab him with the other dagger, too. <laughs> or, too. And that's if it's over 15, that'll hit. I, so that's yeah. going to hit. Um, and then the other dagger will do uh, another 7 damage. Okay. Well, you almost had him at 16. Okay. Um, so, he's dead. 
Nice. Uh, so you, like, are stabbing him, and he kind of just, like, slumps down as he's just lost too much blood to stay conscious at this point. Gotcha. Um, that is normally how Terry ends people. Yeah. <laughs> repeated stabbing until all the red light, light liquid comes out. So, uh, I guess I'll look back at what I was saying. I'm like, we got it! We're gonna survive this together! <laughs> Slashing and dashing is what we do! <laughs> <laughs> You hear it like a coyote. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like in response. So then we have the Yonti's turn. So basically the one that Edge was engaged with has perished. Um, the one that Char is engaged with is still up. Osire and Terry have been able to dispose of two guards so far. And then the people of this town... Um, the yuan are starting to disperse. So, a lot of them have started to run back the way you guys had come in. Um, and then you also see some of them kind of like tugging at the ropes, trying to get people untied. Um, and you can kind of see the one guard that's <laughs> trying to control the situation. Um, a few, like two more guards walk up kind of run up to him and try to help and they're like pushing people with the their spears trying to keep them away and as they're trying desperately to untie uh, the people they care about um, and they want and the ganasi are doing the same you see the one pick up a scimitar and kind of go at the rope trying to cut it um, with this blade and they've got a guard kind of like trying to shove them but they seem a little bit more capable at um, handling one guard to you know the couple the dozens of uh, Ganassi that are left um, did not Lord of the Edge have two guards on him? you do okay you dispose of the one okay that's what I was wondering yeah this is right here in my notes Okay, um, let's make sure. So, there's not a group of people anymore. There is a defi- there's definitely a group that is focused. The Ganassi seem pretty focused on the situation at hand. Um, the Auntie don't... There are those that are focused on getting their sacrificed loved ones out of these bonds. And then there are others that seem to be like running away um, to their huts... Um, I need everybody to give me a perception, please. Hey. Oh. hey! Okay! That's 16. 23. Nice. Oh, man, man, it's never gonna be- Lord of Edge always knows this. Uh, <laughs> he knows everything. Low. I mean, his perception, though. Uh, his eyes are very sharp. I, I only have a plus one in perception, but I rolled a 19, so that would make it a dirty 20. Okay, so, Osire, um, you notice chaos. You know people, like, stampeding, almost. Um, Terry's been, like, wailing from pain. You just saw another guard drop. You're like, all right, where's the next one? Like, that's what you're focused on. Um, most of the rest... What was Char's? Char's was a 16. 16. Okay, so the rest of you, you do notice that the auntie are kind of like running away, stampeding, but the amount of rumbling um, that is going on oh, no. is more than just people running. Um, but it's not like an earthquake. It's not like you're feeling like you're falling over it's just like that T-Rex moment where you can notice it and maybe hear it a little bit but it's not intense to where you're losing your balance like the volcano just ate Taco Bell <laughs> <laughs> getting a little yeah. bit of the grumblies uh... yes so then Edge Oh, wait, no, sorry. I completely forgot the auntie. <laughs> <laughs> They're all I dead. it was in your notes, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a one hits you. Mm-mm. Okay, that is an 18. Okay. 
so that doesn't hit the one on Char. Uh, 17. That is going to hit, yeah. Oh, and a crit. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's fine. Uh, at least they only do a d6. <laughs> so first attack only does two damage. Second hat does 13 damage. Okay, that's a solid 15 on her. Yep. Uh, she has 55 HP, so I'm not too worried. <laughs> uh, are you raging? Uh, I am raging, so I have resistance to that. Yes, it is slashing. Yeah, so I only take... 7? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yes! <laughs> yeah. Sounds good to me. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Good enough, alright. There. 48 HP, not <laughs> 48 now. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> so then we have the Edge's turn. Uh, yeah, I'm going to mix it up and, and hit him with my enormous sword. Oh. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, we'll see. No, nah, no, nah, that one was a 14. I miss. Okay. Does anybody see it, though? Hopefully, no one <laughs> Probably saw Probably not. Too much chaos. Uh, yeah, and you're kind of it. like on the other side of this chaos from your comrades. I, I try to punch him and make it look like it was a feint. Oh no, I missed the punch too! Oh god, don't. I turned my blade on myself! <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's my turn. Okay. Then we've got Osire. So oh. you guys would have to move a distance to get to some guards. You can see that Char is dealing with a guard, and there are a few that have come together around the sacrifices. Um, you would probably have to use your full movement, if not more, to get to them at this point. Uh, and the... the you're saying there's guards still around the, sacri the people that are being sacrificed? Yeah, more have actually kind of gathered. God, uh, and Ter is Terry still close to me at least? He's like right beside me still? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot of people. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, so if I get a charge guard, I would be able to get to the guard and attack it at least? Mm, what's your movement? 30? Uh, 30. Uh... Yeah, I mean, people have started dispersing at this point, so it's not difficult terrain um, to get to them. Um, especially the the guard that Char is at. If you were trying to get to the sacrifices behind her, you probably wouldn't be able to go that far. Because there are people in the way that are actively trying to free them. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh, let's try to go to to Char's, uh, Char's guard, which yeah. sounds crazy. Char's guard. Char's uh, guard. Char's yeah. guard. Char guard. Yep. Char's Char guard. Char's Char guard. Char, this uh, is Char's yard. <laughs> <laughs> this is my old yard, yeah. Actually, where's my mace at? I should probably go look for that thing. And pick it's it up, probably not that far. Okay. Uh, that child's yeah. taking it. He's just running off. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, probably Here's a child <laughs> running off with it. Yeah. I, I was 15 feet away, I think, so that means if you threw it and it landed anywhere near him, it would be 15 feet away. 15 yeah. feet away. I, wouldn't make I was just going to think about it all the way, but apparently Greg said no. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, I was, I was just like, letting you know where whoa. it was. And that, that could still be in the direction of yeah, where it's going. Yeah, in the direction, uh, hopefully. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me do that. Oh, okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. All right. This is uh, like... <laughs> the game's so, spicy tonight. Yeah. Well, uh, let's you, can, you can pick it up on the way, it's fine. I okay, overrule cool. Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Uh, I just wanted to let you know where I was at. I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to tell anybody no. <laughs> uh so yeah, let's go go towards there uh with a slash in motion with my hand axe because I'm still I see the chaos, so I'm still like, we gotta kill more. They gotta go. <laughs> uh, He's starting to frenzy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, that's my thing. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna rage, assume, frenzy. Uh, well, I have eight, frenzy attack. An eight does oh. not hit. An eight does not hit. No. Uh, let's. You gotta try. at least be the double digits. Yeah, yeah. And I did pick up my mace. Can I try with my mace at yes. least? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's just make it a baseball bat and a nineteen. I would assume hits. Yep. With yep. eight damage. Nice. It's a baseball bat. Baseball, baseball bat. bat. Nice. Perfect. Beautiful. So how much damage was that? 
Eight. Eight, yes, that's right. Mm, okay, got it. Okie dokie. Uh, Char, it's your turn. Yeah, it is. Uh, and there's still a person in front of me. Um, oh, Sire has come to your aid. Trying to ah. Ah! Ah! <laughs> She's focused on raging right now. Um, she really wants to help these people get free. But if she's able to knock out a guard and go knock out another guard, there's more space for people to get free. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, she's going to hit this dude. Oh, please. That's a 16 on the die. Nice. Plus 5, that's it hits. 21. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. That's Pireoth. That means d8 plus d4. Uh, plus 4. That's... Wow. This d8 is giving... These two together have given me a 7 and a d4 mm. and a 4 again. This is... I'm questioning mm. my dice. <laughs> so this is plus... Uh, plus 4, which is another 15. Nice. Does it have I to am... add the numbers on it? Yeah, yes, it does! <laughs> Next. I swear, it's a one. standard D4 and a standard D8. Uh, awesome! Yep. He's dead! Cool! Yep. Can I get around to the other side? Yes. So you can slash through Bonk him. one of these dudes. Yeah, yep. uh, well, I'm not trying to slash through. I've got a quarter staff, which is bludgeoning. I'm gonna be beating these guys today. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Uh, yeah, I just go over to one of them that's really trying to, like, push people away. Mm-hmm. Just try to get him distracted so that they can get to him. Whether okay. they're Yanti or Janasi. She just wants the people free. Got it. Uh, let's do this one. Okay. Uh, that's an 18 plus 5. Yay. Finally, that's a 23. Um, finally, good rolls. Oh my god, this is rare. This is a d6 plus 4. Uh, that's six, because I got a two. Mm. That's six damage in total <laughs> for that gotcha. one. Gotcha. And, okay. yeah. Yeah. All right. Terry. Um, oh. Sire has left your side. Oh, oh no. What the fun, Kit, Terry? <laughs> <laughs> is, are there any guards next to Osire? Are you sure you're... Huh? <laughs> are there, is there any bad things next to Osire? Just the one guard that him and Char are attacking. Oh, it's not it's not dead yet. Incredible. Oh no, it, it oh, died. I, I it died. fell, and then she's moved on to another one. So there's currently not any bad guys next to Osire. No. Um. Alrighty. Uh. Well, I will. Uh. Is, is do I do I see where that one is? The dead one. No, the one that Char is on. Yeah, you can see her engaging with it. Okay. Is it, am I close enough to? What's your movement speed? Twenty five. No. But I can move through people that are a size larger me okay with tackling nimbleness is there like is it, is it actually like spatially that way or yeah. is there just like a bunch of people? it's okay. not difficult terrain okay a lot um, of people cleared out at this point um a lot of the yaunty that were in your way have cleared out at this point it's um mainly the people who have stayed to try and free their loved ones okay did he, did he make um, it to me and i throw him Oh, I mean, I, 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 get, I just want to know if I have to use my cutting action and dash, yes, uh, which have to. I will to, okay. to get there. Um, if, uh, if it's within 50 feet, I guess. Um, if it is, y yes. Okay, cool. So I'm going to run up to it, and uh, is there a way to get behind it to give myself advantage or anything? Not really. Um, he is, like, pushing people away from people that's behind him. So, I mean, perhaps you can, since you can move through people's feet. It's just going to be tight space. You would need to move again to get out of that space. Did I use my full 50 to get to him? No. Oh, okay. I'm just saying, you're, you probably you can go in, hit, and then you have to get back out. There's no room for you to stay there. Okay. Um, well, I, I, I don't want to take any opportunity. If I'm already going to use my... Uh... My cunning action to uh to, to get in there i won't have it to disengage um so i'll just attack the normal then okay um with that i get a it's a nat 20. okay 
Nice. Um, okay. We're critting and failing tonight. Or critting and failing tonight. Feast and famine. I um I, I don't even know if I should be. I would like I, I know there's a lucky feat that I've forgotten about a couple times when I've crit failed for um, not a feat a racial feature uh, for the halfling. Mm -hmm. Um. Anyways, let me go into this. Uh, that's three plus. Um. Six, nine, thirteen. Uh, I just I just doubled the dice, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So roll again or double the actual dice roll. Whichever you like. If uh, you want to risk, if you like the high roll, then take the high roll. If you want to try and get higher, then uh, I'll take that. Then that was um thirteen, so double that to twenty six, and then add my modifier five on it. So uh, thirty one damage. Jesus. Nice. All right. It's got to be one damage 31 times for Terry, right? Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Just punch his stats. Nice. Okie dokie. So you guys have felt that rumbling, and it hasn't ceased. It's gotten a bit worse. Um, you can see that parts of the charred ends of the caldera are starting to kind of collapse. They're starting to fall in. Um some of the guards are starting to notice the rumbling at this point and like the one guard that was trying to keep the sacrifices together at the beginning is kind of like this is a ditch effort like or he's ditching his efforts to do this job he's like it's not worth it so he takes off he starts running um in the other direction you do see some, especially those that had a higher perception check before, you do see, oddly enough, um, Edge, because you're closest to this, that some of the on T have gone to these figures that aren't moving and are, like, helping each other, like, pick them up and, like, take them. Uh, do you want to try and investigate or anything? Uh, or just intelligence turn? check, maybe? Yeah, if I can. This will be funny. I'm not smart. Ooh, a 15 plus my modifier, so 15. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you. Plus your mod. These aren't <laughs> like a totem or anything. They look really strange and they look strange before because you would think that if they had like a, a totem to this god or something it would be made out of stone it doesn't look like it's made out of stone it's definitely stiff and hard looking as they're trying to lift it um it does look yaunty in nature um but it's not made out of like marble or granite or even sandstone or limestone it's Otter material than that, and you can see people um, helping each other kind of like lift these and like running away um, as this caldera is starting. The rumbling is getting worse as it's kind of crumbling in on itself. Um, and in these moments that seem like they last forever, it happens very suddenly as some of these people are trying to lift up these yuan statue-like things. You hear this high-pitched roar, scream coming from the bowels of this caldera um and after it does this you can see more of these walls just falling in on each other um and these you want t are actually disengaging from battle they are running um whatever just happened has scared them off they are leaving um and as you look around, you can see that that like a main gate, people are helping each other over the walls. They are getting out of Dodge. Whatever is going on in here, you guys aren't important anymore. Whatever <laughs> was supposed to happen tonight is no longer important. Getting out it. is yeah. important. 
Well, I think it's time for the second part of our plan. <laughs> Dash. Get up. <laughs> uh, what do I know Check. exactly what's going on <laughs> with this? You have never experienced this before because when the sacrifice happens, it happens. You have the drums. Um, it stops. And people are put into the caldera. And that's... You have like a moment of silence, and then everybody kind of moves on in their own way. Um, the silence of the drums has been for a, a few rounds now, and mm -hmm. perhaps whatever was expecting these sacrifices has not gotten them yet. That's bad. Yeah. We rang the dinner bell, and no dinner came. <laughs> so yeah. The battle currently. Um, you're not in um, turn order anymore. You're no longer okay. in uh, battle because the people you were battling have run. They're out of yeah. They have used of all of their movement <laughs> and Get are running towards the walls. Yeah. Uh, just re are we able to release people? Get yeah. These people out. Just you get them and out, like the running. dozen. The few dozen other, like, Yonti and Ganassi combined, especially the guy with Scimitar, like, he's been able to get, they've been able to get, um, these ropes and all mostly cut just in the chaos, and people are able to unravel them. It's just a lot going on all at once. Okay. Um. The Ganassi, main... though, don't seem to know what the Yonti know. Okay. Yeah, I... I don't even know what the auntie know. Mm -hmm. uh, Lord of the yeah. Ashes, he's heard it. He will kind of like put his stop when that guy runs off and put his hand down to the ground and kind of feel him. It's like, I think it's time to go. Yeah. It is time to go. We got to get out of here. Like I said, uh, guys, slash and dash, and I, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure it's time to do the, the, the dashing. dashing. Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, do you think by any chance, since we do have this drum, if we keep the beat up, it might stop the rumbling, or... I don't think that's how volcanoes work. Yeah, I was just trying to see. <laughs> I mean, I get it. Just throwing an idea out there, since we have the strum and all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, whatever whatever is happening, I don't I don't think it's a god. It's probably a creature. I don't know. Should or we stop? the volcano just decided that it's gonna blow today. I think we should probably stop talking about yeah, it. Yeah, so we're, we're. I was thinking we were running yeah, as we're talking, <laughs> like oh, getting okay. people, <laughs> pushing them, trying to get them to go, trying to get them to run. Can we run by the hut where Terry found that the kid, kid and make sure the kid <laughs> is not hiding? Yeah, yeah make you sure can. The kids out of there because you don't want to um, get hurt. So you would end up going back. So a lot of people did run that way to the huts. Um, after the rumbling got more intense, you can see people are just kind of like abandoning. Um, kind of like as you're running through the town and people are just like gathering up whatever they can carry. They're putting stuff in bags, um, probably like rations or other things, canteens, whatever they have. Um, they're gathering basically whatever they can carry and they're running. Um, so you guys are able to make your way back to this hut. It's a little weird to get through all these because it's not like a main road it's just worn paths through these huts because they seem to kind of put them wherever they could around this caldera and you're able to get there um as you kind of look inside terry because i figure you're the one kind of navigating people back um you can see like this um larger yonti Presumably, maybe male, maybe not. Um, he seems to be holding one of those statue things that the Lord of Edge had noticed before. Uh -huh. um, so he seems to be holding kind of this large brown rock thing. Um, and you see like a, a lady, Yanti, presumably lady Yanti, kind of, um, kind of like fussing at the young one because somehow he got a hold of a bunch of tiny silver balls that have found themselves all over the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and he is desperately trying to pick them up, but they 
the older Yontis clearly have different priorities. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh God. Okay, it, it sounds like they're getting out. Um, yeah. That's good to know. I guess we gotta try to, this wall. Should we try to get one of the rocks? Or? Um, I actually, uh, I'm going to do something that might get us in trouble. I also have a bell, and I feel like, I, that was what I was, I was debating trading him the bell for the drum, because it always also makes noise. So while the kid's like freaking out over the drums, I ring the bell for him and then I hand him the bell, then I get the fuck out. Just because <laughs> I don't want him to care about the lost marbles. So now if you'll look at this nice shiny bell, maybe he won't care about the marbles anymore and then they can leave. Right. Uh, first one. <laughs> <laughs> You're just giving a child more and more things. 18. Yeah. So he has a sub. He has maybe like a third of the bag still-ish. He just wanted all of... He had all of them at one point, and he wanted all of them again. Mm -hmm. And when you kind of like give him the bell and say like, <laughs> like, like, let's go and like run out the door, he's kind of like, okay. <laughs> like, so he's this like got enough. his bell in his <laughs> And his like fat satchel of ball bearings. Yeah. Okay. He's all like, right. this is good. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, and you can see, like, the possibly mother figure here, like, putting on, like, this huge sack, um, this huge, like, kind of backpack, or kind of patched together backpack that's got, like, bed rolls or something on it. Um, Is it made as, out like, of snake skin? Or... <laughs> uh, <laughs> as you are closer to one of these statues than you were before, Edge, I will let you give me another perception on this. Let's see what these are. Mm -hmm. I got a two for a nine. Okay. Well, your passive is 15. You don't know still what this is made out of, um, but you've seen leather. You've seen leather. You've seen what leather can be done with. You've never seen leather in a statue form. Hmm. So this is odd. Um, are, are you just trying to tell us this is a Pompeii situation? Sort of like there's, there's like volcanic <laughs> ash layered caking yeah. on top of these bodies? It's <laughs> not ashy. Okay, it's not ashy. Okay, mm -hmm. that's important. It's, hot. it's like you know? cooked, maybe. I really want to get one, but it five. seems kind of just, you know, salt in the wound. Like, so you, yeah, you, we blew up your house, and I took one of your magic rocks. <laughs> <laughs> We're family members. I mean, you can always try. Like, you have to go kind of, if you're going to go over the wall, away from the cold air, you could go back and then through the gate. But, um, so they, the mother kind of, like, looks at you. Not like gives you the stink eye or anything, but kind of like acknowledging, you know, maybe like nods her head a few times. It's like trying to like pick up this kid and like get out, like, like trying to run. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what do you guys want to do? All right. Uh, uh, I kind of want to stick with the other genasi like try to go back and try to make sure they're getting out yeah they are um you can see rivet um <gasps> he seems to be kind of not barking orders but he's kind of like you know grab only the necessities like leave the tp is like we i don't know what's like they still don't know what's going on but they know that something is wrong Mm -hmm. So they're kind of doing the same. They're grabbing necessities and they are starting to organize themselves to get out of the town. Um, uh, the, the teepees are past this hut, correct? Yeah, so these huts are kind of haphazardly laying out. There's no like grid system to them and they <laughs> kind of cleared a space in, amongst them um, that has like these uh, wood spiky mm -hmm. fence around yeah, it and that's where they've allowed their teepees but even though they're close together relatively there's not a lot of space okay. allotted for them well, making sure 
Terry and everybody else is pretty okay. She'd probably go past and help people get their yeah. stuff and or you can probably rivet and just be like, I'm here. I said I would come back. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah. If you're able to do that, there's no one stopping you from aiding them. Um, these are more of your well bodied. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that stay behind to fight. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. To let the the more in need get out. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just a rumbling, like nothing has actually happened. Like there is a rumbling. Um, you've heard this kind of screeching roar, and right. then more of this cold air has kind of fallen down, and just people panicking and trying to get out. Um, and we're, so. we're, we should probably, I don't know, take something from these people. I don't want to take anything from these people, you know. We already, like, just killed their priests, and they don't even know why. Probably <laughs> just, like, they just see their priests destroyed. Yeah, so I think we should probably just help people get out. I mean, yeah. if we really want one of the weird rocks, we can get it later. I don't, yeah. I mean, they're not going to disappear the second they leave here, I don't think. No, so, they don't really have anywhere else yeah, to I was, go. I would say Lord of the just helping, like, just kind of keeping it out because it's a, it's a panicky situation. He's kind of just mm -hmm. keeping things sort of like, you know, just yeah. staring daggers at anybody who starts trying to bully someone else. Like, okay, now I'm going to take your stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, they don't seem to be doing so much of that. There are, like, Yonti who... The Ganassi seem pretty well-abled. Like, they don't look like they were having a great life here, but they are at least fed and given water. Um, the auntie who aren't as able-bodied are seem to have a little bit, maybe a harder time um, dealing with, like, getting out. Um, so maybe, like, some of them aren't sure-footed or able to run like How the Ganassi are. Them? So Granted, I... the Ganassi like almost outnumber the or the Yonti outnumber the Ganassi, um, but they seem to be helping each other a bit more. Even like you've seen other Ganassi kind of helping mm -hmm. them out as on their way. They seem to have come to some, at least the common Gan Yonti and Ganassi have seemed to come to some odd understanding that. Char probably hasn't seen. I'm not used um, to seeing that. Um, but you are starting to notice that the caldera itself is starting to collapse more, and you can even kind of hear like, like these loud booms as um, perhaps like. The soil itself is starting to crack under what pressure is starting to build up um, beneath your feet. Guys, we gotta keep dashing. Uh, we need to get they... back to our ass. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, if it hasn't panicked and tried to take off, or somebody um, else might have picked it up. Or <laughs> somebody else ass. taking it. Somebody stole our ass. <laughs> yeah. So, my ass. What, once we know, I think that probably everybody's able to get all their stuff and start running and get out. I think then we can go to our ass. Well, sure I mean, you can wait till the last man, but at this point, it seems like everybody is like, we all have to go. They're not being so self serving that they're like, I have to get out. They're helping each other leave. Um,. And none of the guards are anywhere to be found. Of course, they're the one that's self-serving. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's the common folk that finally, they're the mm -hmm. ones that are like, oh, oh I get it. I get yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our grassroots movement has succeeded. <laughs> time to go home. It's, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's time to go. So uh, as you guys are you. making your way out of the city, mm -hmm. town, place, tables, <laughs> um, Florida Edge, you are interested in one of these stones, and you can kind of see this not as able body Yonti kind of like dragging one of these things towards the entrance. She's quite little in what she's trying to move. 
um, definitely is over her strength capacity, so the only way she can move it is by dragging it. Uh, I'll go over and help her. Okay. Does or he just... point it out to anyone else? <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know if we're all together, but yeah, he would at least to Jar because he, he's yeah. not, the, or Osiris because he's not the strongest. But you know, he'll pick it up and start, and he'll take a good look at it while he's moving. Okay, um, it is heavy. Um, it's not as heavy as like picking up. It's maybe as heavy as Terry is. Okay. It's, um, it's maybe like a hundred eight ninety five pounds, something like that. Um, probably by this little. Yachty old lady couldn't uh, carry it anymore, um, and she is like ecstatic and also terrified at the same time. Kind of smart. Yeah. Um, it's gotta be like give the me smell, a medicine check. No survival. I, I think they're the same, but. Uh, yeah, for me they are, and it is a 16. Rolled a 30. Um, so, yes, in a sense, as you guys are all running out of this city, and you have your hands on this thing, and you've got this old Yanti lady kind of, like, grabbing onto your elbow, trying to, like, keep up with you, but also, like, make sure that you're not stealing this. Um, <laughs> Can I just like scoop her up so you can start running? Yeah, if you faster. want to help her run. Yeah. And she's yeah. also kind of terrified. <laughs> she doesn't want to be stolen like, either. <laughs> yeah, she's like smiling. She's like, we're, yeah, we're taking okay. your rocks and your granny. <laughs> yeah, we're taking your rocks and you. <laughs> yeah. Um, but what you notice about this is that it is indeed leathery to the texture. Um, it is snake skin. If you were to dry snake skin out into a leather, and your medicine check is just high enough that you can hear a heartbeat. Oh, oh no! <laughs> These things are alive! Yeah. Still! Oh, God. Thanks for joining our game, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dad! <laughs> Our team successfully gets out of the city uh, before anything what? else happens. We did the slashing and dashing, and now we're burning. Yes, oh, God. successfully slashed and dashed, and help a whole community get out of a perilous situation. I can't wait till we get back to the city to give them these people some lotion. <laughs> <laughs> Along the edge, oh it? my god, we said we would arrive with maybe four caravans of Janasi, <laughs> and here we are with Janasi and Yanti that don't know common. <laughs> oh. Listen, oh no. <laughs> maybe these Yanti have some Janasi blood, so technically, <laughs> we're not lying. Lot... I wonder where that lizard folk blood came from. <laughs> I would like to thank everybody for joining us tonight. If you are interested in any of our content or maybe looking at some of our other episodic games or full story games, you can go to patreon.com backslash into the dungeon or you can go to in the dungeon Dot com and we have all of our content there for you to go and there's a, even some more things that you can click on and have fun with. Um, I would also like to thank our sponsor which is Penny Dragon Games. They have a Kickstarter that's ending soon, May 7th. Um, they have two 5e compatible books, STLs and more. They created um, things like the Mag of Holding, Eisendor's Vault of Tragic Treasures is what you're going to be looking for with this Kickstarter. It has um, tons and tons of tragic origin items. Also, maybe a little, little tragic items that your players can pick up. If you want to find them, you can go to bit.ly slash tragic treasures. And remember, it ends this May 7th so you've only got a few days left um, but yeah I would like to thank everybody again for being here tonight and enjoying the story with us I'm glad everybody got out no sacrifices were made on the full moon well except for <laughs> the priest the priest oh, said well no one went back to pick up his body <laughs> no one did 
Uh, and oh. all the guards that we killed. <laughs> Nobody seemed to care that much. Yeah, no. uh, but yeah, great job, guys. You found yourselves a magic...